Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. You find me sitting on one of our two new chairs. Jill and I went shopping the other day to United British Caravans and there we saw the Duck Dolph chairs. This one's sublime. Jill's is brilliant here. And this is how they come together. So this is the Brillante or Brillante, um, weighs a lot less than 5 kilos and it's very very easy to set up. It's a padded mesh construction which makes for a lot easier really and putting it up is just a case of getting that like that, pushing it forward and then push forward on the arse, take it out flat, press it forward and that's it, it's up and you can then adjust the back in eight different detents. Now this is Jill's size, will take 140 kilos and the construction of it is really damn good. So as Jill's about to demonstrate, the leg rest that we also got, at an extra cost by the way, slides in very easily and then in order to get into the chair just slides back so you don't have to do the whole steppy over everything to get in you can just get on and then you can pull your footrest out and it's hooked in that's it hey comfy pet yes lush then getting off is going to be a simple matter, I'm sorry I know you've only just got on, but getting off is a dead simple matter as well. You just slide it back in, and get off the chair. And then taking the foot rest out, it's a simple matter of pulling it forward. Once it hits the barrier thing, the little thing it clips over, you slide it to one side, And that's it, you're done, it's out. Easy as that, isn't it, love? Yep. If I can do it, anybody can. Well, exactly. So, let's uh, sit on our seats and talk about them. <sighs> so, comfort wise, how do you find it? Very comfortable. The padded, the, the edges over the where the frame is, padded in the middle. It's but it's an air mesh. It's not like a closed cell foam uh -huh. or anything. So it's a mesh and there are eight, I think, positions for leaning baggage. That's as prone as you're going to get. <laughs> two. That's it. Number two. <laughs> Number three. That was four. This one, yeah, you can pass one. There you go. Is it, it is. Then number four coming up. I don't know which is the easiest way. That's number four. Number five, ready for a pint. Number six, ready for the second pint. Number seven, the half burns hit. But I'm not stopping yet. And number eight, sitting up for your dinner. Which is where I am. And that's one of the main reasons that we've got these, isn't it? Yeah. If they're going to allow us to go from sitting up for your dinner down to. I'll try this. <laughs> Hey, what a lovely day it is for lying back in the sun. So you can get your sun. Oof, you can. I hope I didn't show too much belly there, that would be terrible. And, as Jill has discovered, um, it's very comfortable even when you're upright with yeah. your legs out, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So I shall still be able to crochet with my legs up. Indeed. Yep. Yes, and I do like the bit as well that when it comes to Din Din's time, legs up. All I've got to do is slide it away for her mm -hmm. because I'm far too kind to you. Aren't I? <laughs> Thank so, you for that comment that we've got. Is it the last video or the video before? Video before. I, I appreciate think. that about me being kind to David. 
just came to everybody. <laughs> Try. Yes. So those are the chairs. Now the seat height is 55 centimeters on this, which is just the right height for a six foot two lad. Yours mm -hmm. is 52 centimeters. Yep. Um, these chairs are basically carbon copies of each other, except one of the carbon copies is being blown up. Yes. Yes. So mine will take the sublime, that is, and yes, it's the wrong way around. This is the ridiculous on the sublime. This will handle 160 kilos. So fat lads, this is the one for you. Yours is 140 kilos, mm -hmm. although Jill is nowhere near that. She doesn't need anywhere near that. But it just gives you that little bit of extra. Oh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of room. Yes. And yours is wider. As Mine's well as wider, yes. Higher. This is 50. Eight centimeters wide, I think. Jill's is fifty-five centimeters wide, I think. We'll put the tape measures on and to confirm. You will see on screen whether or not we're right. Either way, on what I've got to tell you from the point of view of me being uh, me, this is extremely. Oh, hello. You got the dog. Some way while later, we have been joined by my daughter's dog Maggie, who is. A Cavalier King Charles Spaniel mm -hmm. that snores for England. She's Ma an old lady. Yeah, she is. She's 12 year old. And, uh, yes. She's got a problem with the heart. You're a video but star now. Look at the camera and put one of your stupid smiles on. <laughs> she, she won't. So, yes, comfortable for a dog up? Do you want your legs out there? No, no. No, no. no. Right. What we're going to do next is put a table up that's come from Outwell. When we went to United British Caravans, which is on Sandy Lane in Gosforth in Newcastle for anybody that's local to us, mm. very well worth a visit. There was almost nobody there, was there? Yeah, maybe two other couples. To be honest... And it's a huge uh, shop. It is massive. It's nice. Accessory shop. Accessory it? shop, yes. Um, on the web it is awnings direct there'll be links to both underneath work with the wise we went looking for an outwell grand canyon for me which is 200 kilos i'm not that big um it'll take 200 kilos it doesn't weigh 200 kilos and it showed us in stock on the site but it wasn't in stock when we got there apparently they don't have clever there's somebody there's no automatic and it doesn't automatically update the website but it's worth going I'll be honest with you, I much prefer these to the Outwell, mm. uh, to the Grand Canyon, much better. Uh, the differential in size is brilliant, but what we need to check is whether or not we can actually sit at a table to eat. So while we were there, and this wasn't on the website, but was there when we got there, it's the Outwell Custer Round Bamboo Topped Table. And the thing about this one is it has individually adjustable legs so you can make sure it's level mm -hmm. and I'll show you how that goes together next should point out Duck Dolph this is before we build the table Duck Dolph is a Dutch company and it used to be many years ago many many years ago they were teamed up with a Chinese manufacturer no longer these are made in the Netherlands from start to finish from scratch there's no Chinese bits on. These are Netherlands built, if that's important to anybody. It does, however, inform the price a little bit. And the uh, Sublime, which is the, the heavy, wide, oversized one I'm sitting on, comes in at 159 quid. Jill's comes in at 139 quid. Mm -hmm. And these lovely footrests, which I think are brilliant, come in at 59 quid these are not cheap chairs but they are built like brick outhouses <laughs> they're solid and very light um, mm. mine I think is 4.7 kilos without the footrest yours is I think 4.2 4.3 they're not very heavy um, in fact I can lift one up with my little finger do I need to demonstrate I suppose I need to demonstrate that Watch. Yeah. Just, to, just to prove it. Can you see my little finger? Yes. Little finger. There it goes. Very light. Very easy to manoeuvre. Very easy to carry about. And very easy.
to put down. All you need to do is that and that and then you push the arms together and pull the seat in. That's it, done and out the way. So now it's time for the table. Mm -hmm. So here it is, the Outwell custard round bamboo topped table. Now this is exactly how we got it. I haven't done anything with it, I haven't tried putting it up or anything. So let's go from scratch and see what occurs. Double zips with that lovely yellow. And you can see the cardboard's still on it, look. And it's still in the plastic bag. There must be an opening for it somewhere. Must be that in, right? Right, come out the plastic bag. And it's folded in a W, as I understand it. So what I have to do, apparently, is fold that out like that, then that out like that, then that out like that, legs come out, and these little stairs clip into position, and then these little clips come out that's it and that's that one simply clip across to hold everything steady no strength then we have the legs which are year long and fasten and they also have a further twisty thing at the bottom. Now I'm going to put those flat. Quite stiff so it doesn't fall back automatically. I quite like that. And the final one. And there we can simply turn the table up and there it is and that is pretty damn solid how level it is I'm not quite sure but you can then adjust from there to get it right and you've got fine adjustment with the screws on the bottom the next question is my love my darling my sweet my pet is can you sit at it i shall hand it over to jill to see if she can sit at it do you want to sit at the table i'm going to first of all try to sit between the narrower part of the two of the four legs okay um, I can do it quite nicely with my chair completely upright and there's still a gap between the arms of the chair and the edge of the table so that and my knees fit between the two legs so you haven't spilt a pint I have not spilt my beer no that's excellent yeah lovely let me just uh, show people down below that you have in fact got loads of room you're not catching any stairs or stanchions or anything like that no i possibly would take the um foot rest off yes because it's easier to maneuver the chair yes much easier to move the chair up to the table than it was with our previous chairs next i was going to move around to the side and see how easy it was well would it be helpful if i pulled the table out and slid it in the other way around so as you can see what Jill's on about, look, there's the gap there, but if I take the table away from Jill and turn it round, 
you'll see there's a wider gap, much wider gap. So if I now push that up, there you are love. Mm -hmm. How does that fit? That's fine, that's no issue. What we need to do now is for me to try with my chair. Well, you would possibly want the table a little higher. Can't Which? get it any higher, I'm on maximum. Oh, on are legs. you? Okay. Um, but that's a well, height I can eat, that's, yeah. that's fine. And you can see where, by where the arms are here, how much higher it is. It's five centimetres higher, this chair. So if you're not a fat lad and you don't need a high chair, getting under one of these tables is going to be dead easy. Um, I can't see it. Well, no, I've got it on maximum expansion, maximum height. But it looks pretty good. It's pretty solid. As solid as you're going to get any kind of uh, portable table to be, I think. Um, and yes, yeah, so Jill and I will sit at the table and tell you what we think about all of it. So what do you reckon then, Mrs Dawn? The new chairs and table set up? I think they'd be very useful. I think you're right. They, they, they'll suit us. Yeah. I, uh, thankfully, I did not order any um, coasters, drinks coasters, because that's a proper one there. But apparently, my darling wife wants to have this one. What does it say on it, darling? She who must be obeyed. She who must be obeyed. So apparently she must be obeyed. So yes, I have to say it's uh, it's a little bit of an outlay, but I think worth it in the long run. I like the look of that table. I, for certain, I'm not going to be coping on it, but we've got the other no, one no. for that. Yeah. That's going to be nice. We can sit four people around it and eat, and that'll be lovely. We can sit two people around it and ex get extremely romantic with a romantic dinner for two, mm -hmm. cooked by my own fair hand. So there you go, um, it'll be home from home, As you can, in fact it feels brilliant now, I could quite happily have my lunch off this today, don't you know? Why not? Why not? We can pretend we're away, but not in the madding crowd of everybody that's mm -hmm. milling about everywhere, it'll all be good. So there you go, I hope you found, oh price, price, price on the table was £109? I think so, yeah. £109 for the table, it goes up. As you saw, I mean, that was without even reading the instructions. It's so obvious, dead easy to do. Goes up, it's stable, you can level it anywhere you're at. I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous. I'm quite uh, quite impressed by that. Yeah. It'll store easily in, uh, in the Winchcombe, in Andromeda. It'll go in the underbed storage, I think. Mm -hmm. The chairs, I will say, are going to go in the garage. Because, let's face it, when you're travelling, no, you're not going to be going using down. the shower, and you're not going to be using the chairs. And the second thing you do when you pull up is get the chairs out, isn't it? Yeah, but they're going in the shower, they're not going in the garage. No, they're going in the shower. Did I say a garage? Yeah, we haven't got one. We haven't got a garage. No. They're going in the shower. They, they might fit in the wardrobe if we wanted them to, but mine's probably too tall, because mm. it is bigger than the other one. Um, so they're going to go in the shower, because when you're on the move, you don't use the shower. And like I say, when you park up, the second thing you do is get the chairs out after you've hooked up and got the water hooked mm. up, isn't it? I mean, obviously they'll be wrapped in something, I haven't decided yet. It could be the silver screen, because um, that's where we keep that when we're on the move. But we'll see. There's no jagged bits on these chairs, no. so there's nothing to make a hole in the silver screen, if that's what we came up with. Yes, nothing. Or towels, or we've got loads of options, really. Barrel loads of options, yes. Mm. So there you go. Yep. Um, like I say, not cheap. But I think the quality is superb. Um, they do a heated version of these and they also do a full airflow mesh, so it's just a single mesh cloth on them. That one's cheaper. That's the one that tends to be advertised on Amazon. It's not this one. This is the Comfort one, the Super Duper Comfort 3D mesh, they call it, mm -hmm. which is, I have to say, extremely comfortable. No bar over the front of the seat to dig into the back of your thighs. No bar along the bottom of the, the backrest to dig into your back and 
there is lumbar support on this I can mm. feel it the shape of it is such that there's lumbar support mm. they're brilliant I love them well pleased yes duck yeah. Dolph daft name brilliant mm. chair yeah uh, I don't know whether we did mention but when you've got the, the chair in the upright position and this was the big sell for me your seat is flat and all the other chairs that we've we have tried them all but the ones we've got at the moment and others that we have tried all go down at the back so even though you sat upright I personally found it very difficult to sit up at the table because I wasn't sat upright. Well I've just pulled was. I've just pulled my seat upright. Mm. My bum is right at the back of the yeah. seat and it's not down, it's higher than my knees, which mm. is where it needs to mm. be for eating. Below your knees for pooping, above your knees for eating. That's how you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's it's fantastic. Um, it's comfortable. Yeah, it is very comfortable. Yeah. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. I can see me spending a lot of time sitting in this. Mm. Yes? Yeah. Yes. So there you go. Hope you found this useful. Yeah. Um, I make no pleas. I make no excuses. All I will say to you is, until we see you on the next video, and I hope we will see you on the next mm -hmm. video, yeah. enjoy the roads. Enjoy the skies. But most of all, enjoy, enjoy your, your lives. lives. See you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.